Hi guys, welcome back to MCASA, it's Andrea and today we're talking watches with Zoran Miliak. Thank you Zoran for being here. Thank you, pleasure. And uh, you're a collector and uh, I think great passion in what's beautiful in this world. For That's what I true. Know you. That's true, yeah. So if you want, you open the box. Yes, and I let's will. See. I will with great pleasure. I met you during uh, Alessandro classes. Yes, opening. Yes, last party. And you were wearing a pretty, pretty nice piece. It was a good one. It was indeed. And, uh, and you, you were actually one of the so few people I know actually wearing that watch. Yeah, it was at one point I was uh, totally lonely. Yes. With this piece, wearing oh. it. Yes, you're, the only, you're almost the only one. We're talking about the with 57 11 the green one with the green dial which is actually something pretty sought after today shoot yes. is a green uh, green dial totally rare 5711 discontinued <laughs> yes true one of the the rarest modern patak totally hot say. piece yes and you are like uh, actually wearing it and enjoying it yes i'm the lucky one yeah. I'm the lucky one with this. You told me you got it in um, in London. I bought it in London. Relationship with London, long time. Super important to have long time yeah. relationships. And you're happy with this piece? Of course, I think everybody would be happy with this piece. Green is the new color, or yeah. green is the new blue. Yes, and but you also the blue, obviously. So. What is better between the green and the blue? What do you like the most? Look, this one is the most exclusive. The 5711 sure. is a nice watch because you can wear it with jeans, you can wear it with a, with a suit. Short. And uh, yeah, that's the, that's the point. Many people will mention you Gerald Genta after the design, but it is a cool watch. It is, it is indeed. And uh, I, I, l looking at your collection and what you brought here today. Yeah, I brought something for you. Yes. This one. Oh, yes. Yeah. You see? Is an Italian uh, brand sure. with a little bit Greek roots, let's say. Aluminium, Bulgari, yes. sports watch. 1998, I bought my first one. I had few German marks left. So I was pretty young then at this time. That was my first expensive watch, let's say. But this is the remake. Yes, 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 for sure. And it's a really nice remake. Now we have it also as a GMT in blue. Yes, they made a good one yeah. today. Uh, Octo yeah, Finissimo, the thin ones. Many people saying that's the new b next thing, big thing. Da -ga -da -ga -da -ga. You don't think so? I don't know. I'm not... Uh, I can't view in the future. For but sure. I buy watches which I like. Sure, that's the most important yeah. thing. So the Octo the Finissimo, end. it looks really nice. It's a thin caliber. But it's also a little bit big. Yes, it is, in my opinion as well. Yeah. Yes. So. And you have a big wrist, so you should have like yeah. you should wo wear it. Easily. You can yes, I can wear it, but you know before watches were small. Oh yes, yes, I'm so a big fan of small watches. Thirty-eight millimeters know. was huge. Indeed, man. Then, Indeed. some uh, companies came on the idea to make forty-four millimeters watches, forty-five, forty-six. Sure. And we are uh, with AP. So called mm -hmm. Oderma Pique. Yes. This one. Is. Yeah. Here it is. The Almighty, you know, another really, really sort of to watch. To one do. of the best remakes, let's say, that's 2012, I think. Yes. So, totally wow watch. No seconds, because we don't need seconds. Nice design. Nice dial. Nice dial. Super bracelet, in my opinion. Yes, the bracelet is like a razor. <laughs> so <laughs> yes, it's okay. It's razor sharp. Yeah, it's okay. It's razor sharp. But still, where's good? Yes. It's a GLC caliber inside because uh, many watch manufacturers couldn't uh, produce or develop uh, a caliber. Yes, they own one. Yes. And yeah, it's a GLC inside. It's funny how you set up the date. Like? You go out one yes. time, you make one round till 12, mm -hmm. it makes clack, and then you go back t to 9, 12, 9, 12, 9. Okay, I didn't know it. So, if you want, you can try. Yes, yes, I'll try it. And, uh, by the way, how did you start your journey 
and watchmaking? I don't know anymore. It was nice. Indeed. It was you, you wanted to have a watch, let's say. We started with Swatch. Okay. My father bought me, I think, 84, 1984, a Swatch. And yeah, you earn money, you work, you say, okay, come on. Now you will probably ask me what was my, my first expensive one. Which was, you told us the Bulgari. Yeah. Yeah, but, you know, like, I think everyone starts with Swatch now, like, not the, yeah, nowadays, yeah. but In, Nowadays, always. they start with Nautilus. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I think we don't know the exact same no, people. We yeah, we don't know, we don't know. But no, uh, no, many but people think it's going like that. Yeah. So, yeah, coming back to the caliber JL GLC, Jäger, AP had no caliber. So, from that point we can also go now to Rolex, if you want. Yes, to the Daytona, sure. Daytona. Because they had the same problem. They had the case, but no caliber. So, the caliber which was used uh, was Zenit. True. Yeah, and here we have a not bad piece. I like it. Again, green dial. Yes. We have a yellow gold case. We have a totally hype because Mr. John Meyer, or I don't know who. Yes, it was uh, John. Yes, yes. Yeah. True. The, John the, the funny thing on this watch is it came out the same day like the Daytona and Steel. But no Rolex dealer offered to his client this watch. Nobody knew about it. Yes. Until Mr. As we yes, said, because Mayor it's easier to it. sell a steel watch for than a gold watch. Yes, that's sure. That's for sure. I think that this one is the one that started the Grin trend, in my opinion. Y yes, yes, a long time ago. Because long uh, time ago, yeah, sure. long, a long time ago. But uh, no one uh, super, no one recognized that. So true. I love the details on this watch, like the red detailing. Yeah, that that's a, a sweet part. Is a think. cool one. And you told me it's like not the only Rolex you've kept for you, but like yeah, one of the few. One of the few, yeah. Next time we can check the vintage collection. <laughs> I kept, yeah, I kept few. I kept few. But vintage ones. Vintage ones, yes. What's your relationship with vintage? Like, do you, do you like? Look, vintage? you Italian guys yes. are invented this vintage. It's so so true. you are it's the so you are the doctors. Uh, <laughs> my relationship with vintage, I don't know, is here and there few pieces are really nice you have the you call it frecchione i think frecchione, frecchione. yes sorry no worries uh that's a really nice piece the super one indeed and you have the paul newman daytonas are okay maybe overpriced i don't know but yeah that's that's the vintage market and you wear a lot of vintage for how you like you dress in a proper vintage way. I met you at Atales, as yes, I told you, on the opening. and you were dressed like a perfect yeah, Italian gentleman. Th yes, uh, thank you very much for that. Thank you very much. Oh, it's my pleasure. You know, you were dressed li really like uh, the, the Italian modern gentleman in the end. Military jacket, super fresh. Andrea, look. you guys invented <laughs> uh, the thing to look good. So yes. I'm only a victim of the Italian fashion industry. Wow. So nothing more. Wow. I mean, you saw it today. No, but I think you have culture, man. Okay, thank you, you do for know, that. You do know what you're doing pretty properly. In fact, the fact I was telling you at the bar like a few okay. minutes ago, uh, when, I, when I saw your collection, when I first saw you, I may have thought, okay, he is not Italian. He maybe wants to be Italian and he wants to be the guy that has every sought after thing. That's what I got first. Okay. Then I started talking to you and I said, what the hell? I mean, he has as a born Look, as a born German, okay, born in Germany, to be, to want to be Italian, this is, that doesn't yeah. work okay. so very well, okay? <laughs> but yeah, roots are from Serbia or old Yugoslavia, but I understand what you, what you want to tell me or what you said. It's true, yes. No, but actually you're different. Like you, uh, as I told Thank you, you for that. as I told you many times, you own these pieces and you enjoy these pieces. I wear it, yes. And, and that, that's remarkable, actually, because if a guy just sees the photo you sent me when you were coming to Milan, I okay. was like, that is the photo that would get a tons of likes on Instagram, because that's where everyone wants to be. That's what everyone wants to wear. But actually, you know more than me about it. And that's remarkable. I don't know. I don't know. No, you are, you are so. look, you... I think so. And that's super good. In fact, if there's a, a piece I would really like to discuss with you. Okay. That's this one, because okay, this is really a piece that you don't see, not nor every day, but like 
Yeah, you you really don't really rarely. You don't do, you don't see it every day. Really rarely. You don't rarely. see it maybe not every month. No, maybe once a year yeah. if you're lucky. Is the five <laughs> five uh, three one? Yes. Presented in New York with the uh, with the super New York one. dial. That's super. Day and night. Now we have a Geneva dial. That one. It's is like a piece of art. It is. It's it like is. a piece of art. World, World <coughs> timer. Twenty four time zones. Repeater. Minute repeater enamel dial and striking the local time zone. Dude, so that's, that's the thing. That's incredible. You can uh, we can we can try it. Okay, we have to so charge it first. Yeah, I charge guess. it first, a little bit, a little bit more. And with all probably. the clue de Paris. Yeah, it's unbelievable. That's and also so when you put crazy. the watch on your wrist, you see that what I mentioned to you before when we walked through Milano. Yes. Uh, it's an all day watch. Yes. And this is unbelievable because it's. Uh, it's super easy to use for sure it's working in new york and it's working also wow. in paris we do this i do this near the microphone yes i every every time it's like the first time when hearing a mini repeater is wow it's really yes, wow it is. Yes, it is. Do you use it? I the use mini it. repeat yeah, function? Yeah, yeah. Just for fun? Just or for fun. Okay. Just for fun, okay. Andrea, to see for what you spend the money. Yes, <laughs> that's true. That's yeah. true. But I think that's, that's well spent, actually. It is. And every time I hope, also when I travel through the time zones, I hope it will show me the right time zone. Otherwise, I would uh, call Geneva. <laughs> and you'd be right. But and you see what I mean. I, I do see it. And it's, it's even a wearable size. It is. Yes, it much. is. Bravo. It's a pretty much wearable size. I think it's super. It's not understated. It's maybe a conversation started. So uh, because I think that people who knows a little bit about watches would notice it on the wrist. Pretty <coughs> much. <coughs> it, look, is wow watchmaking. Wow. Yes. yes. Is we or or we can say it's the game over watch. Hmm. So is it your exit watch? Mm, no, it's not. <laughs> but for it's it's a game over watch. It's really because you don't see it. No, you never see it. You, you don't see, see it. it. You, you also maybe <coughs> some people mix it with the five two three five two three one J. Okay. Uh, which is also a world timer, travel time, twenty four time zones. Also a nice dial. But no minute repeater. Yes, Here, that's it. Here, minute repeater is striking the uh, local time zone. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. Is it like linked with something special happened in your life, or was? Uh, no, I wanted. Uh, yeah, look. Usually, all the watches are linked okay. with some moments. Okay. So, if you ask me about this watch, yes. Okay. Okay. But you know, this is an application piece. Mm -hmm. So I made the application two years before I got that watch, and uh, yeah, I will tell you when the camera is off. <laughs> okay, no it's worries. It's a funny story. No worries, no worries. We love it. I'm unhappy you'll never hear it, but guys, that's part of the game. That's part of actually. the game. Yeah. And okay, uh, which one? Pick <sighs> one. I think, like, if I look at the collection, apart from the Bulgari, which I really like, yeah. and... It was I a surprise for you. Tell it was a surprise, and it's Bio. super Milanese, in yeah. my opinion. It's like the perfect watch I see it with is. your outfit and It is, no, and th that's an easy, easy watch, price-wise top. Yes, okay? indeed. Also, many people asking, hey, uh, because many people want an expensive watch or a luxurious watch, and they ask, in which brand to invest but that's wrong you invest in tesla or you invest in stocks in, yes in stocks you don't invest in this this is something to wear to oh go for the green aqua now yes. for example this is something to wear is a white gold case look at the scratches well. i know it very well it's the first time i see one with scratches actually yeah and time. that for me a watch should look like that Yes. Because every scratch shows you where you have been, what you have done. The the the, 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 wa the watch tells a story about you. It's like a good pair of shoes, you know. If yes, it is. If you're always new, it's it never is. it's no. never a good one. No. It's never. Then a you good don't one. walk. You don't exist. Yes. Many people also buy something, don't wear, but here, um, 
if you buy something you bought it not yes. the thing bought not you yes that's so, true that's indeed true that's a little bit less wearable for me but look they blown up the case so i'm not a huge fan but is the first green let's say aquan out yes green is the color now and uh, we can say that these two were maybe the the first game yeah. changers about colors the That's first non-blue sought after models ap tried it with the green but this green is looking a little bit strange and it's super limited so you know super mm, limited not, yes. not not the same not the same these were actually these is is a paradox if you think about it because it's it's the most sportive watch they have yes. but it's white gold which is not that sporty of a, of a metal I tried to explain before I think that this company don't produce so many the, the focus is not on steel watches sure sure so to to produce or to hold the aquan out they needed to do something new so what to do we make a white gold case also we increase the price of course that's for sure that's for sure no but I really think that these two are the first that started this this trend and uh, I'm kind of happy I'm pretty fan of uh, of the green dials uh, I actually didn't like the blue ones as much I think that that uh, black deserves a better attention but black is the most normal and maybe boring it is, it is I think it's too boring but you actually own a pretty interesting black one Oh, like this is is the, the, the is the actual watch that I would love to wear at a, at like the Bulgari Hotel bar and see if someone comes to me and asks me what's that because if he does we may have a coffee and true talk. true Ed White yes Omega Speedmaster caliber three two one they made a great job out yeah this. me as a metal trader you know trading with copper a lot of copper inside oh yes working really well uh, history wise top the watch Pretty the caliber yes. of course yes mm, something different one watchmaker assembling the complete caliber that's the reason why you wait a little bit if you want it from omega the bracelet compared to the bracelet, ap is, is wow is amazing yeah. the bracelet is actually amazing if and you the need size depilation <laughs> you use ap <laughs> yeah yes. it's insane no no but but um, this watch is top truly Truly, truly, truly a great one. A really great one. And I think, sorry to interrupt no, you, no. more watch, more watch, you don't need. You just, like, you have this one and you're okay with it. Usually, yes, if you're normal, but we are not normal because yeah, we're we have this. Huh? Yeah, yes. uh, yeah. not everyone has this, actually, No, no, no not everyone, okay. <laughs> but usually yes. that's enough. Yes, 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 super true shows you everything and also if you go with Joseph Bezos to the moon it will work it works yeah. yes true that's true no and and that's a very vintage looking one actually. it is they made it really well nice dial yeah it's one of the best re-editions they made actually in my in my honest opinion like they made a, a great work I'm not a, a super fan of the open case back on Omegas but this time it's worth it yeah. actually you don't need it no but yeah to see the three to one it's it's good that's I mean, good that, that this time is very good omega. you told me you're a big fan of omega yeah omega made a good story oh, yes. i mean i'm a big fan because i think they are fair compared to other watch brands like let's say compare it with rolex the history behind this one is uh i think it's a good company they have good watchmakers good yes. history they know what they do they respect you as a client when you see what is role what rolex is doing we mentioned it before downstairs in the garden and i told you the story with uh, with mcdonald's so let's say rolex is the mcdonald's in the in the swiss watch game yes wa watch game everywhere you see rolex rolex stores rolex here rolex there but if we go to rolex and say give me one submariner sell me one they say no we don't have is waiting list so if we two go later to McDonald's and you say to this lady on the casa, give me, please, I want one Big Mac. And she said to you, is waiting list for the Big Mac. This doesn't work. I <coughs> so I respect more Omega than Rolex is. Yeah. Are you yeah. back on the green dial 5711 I see? 
I am, I am, but just for a reason. It's uh, actually my first time to see it in person, and I'm really exploring the, the shades of the green. Yes. Yeah. When I met you, it was dark, dark. at night. You don't, you, you, you don't see it. I didn't get it. No, no. The I difference you don't it. see. It's true. Uh, but on sunlight, well. you see it, yeah. Yes, yes, very true. But uh, It can be really heavy green, deep green, gray. Yes, pretty hard to get it, but uh, but yes, good one. The technique they use for the dial, this funny company from Geneva, is amazing. You yeah. will see when you take the 5740G, yes. which is actually so called Nikola mm, Tesla. Let's say my favorite Nautilus. piece. No, yeah. not my favorite. Pi my favorite Nautilus. Yeah, actually, without any doubts. But not my favorite piece in this box, because you know, actually, my favorite piece in this box could just be the fifty-five thirty-one. It, it it is. Yeah, it it is it's like watchmaking. It's on art. the highest it's level. Art. It's art. That's actually, true. It's art. But this one is actually the most, like the, the in my opinion, the best looking Patek Nautilus ever created, even though it's super crowded. Bravo! On it's the super dial. crowded when it came out. I don't want it to buy it, okay? Okay. <coughs> this model because it's uh, super crowded. It yes. makes me nervous uh, to set it up. It's a pain in the ass. It is. On the it Patek site, you get uh, for for less uh, lesson in French. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you click there, they speak French with you how to uh, mm -hmm. to set it up. But yeah, after a while, you know how to set it up. Okay. And that's okay. It's super complicated. It's super thin. It's again watchmaking on the highest level. Is a white gold case. Uh, Super yeah. nice. The dial deep blue. The dial, in my opinion, is really, really well done. By the way, is the same color of the dial from the five nine ninety rose gold, which we don't have here in the box. But next time. Yes. Great so pleasure. So is the same deep color, deep blue. That is cool. It is. It is. And uh, is this linked as well as with uh, with your life? This was the mo look. This was yes linked in London with life. This as well really heavy. This of course yes. Okay. This one too in Miami. This here. Here in Milan. You got it here in. Uh, no, okay. I, I, this one I got in Milan. Yes. Okay. This one I got in Milan. Great. Yeah, yeah. So this you one. Know. This one I got in Milan. The first one I got in Zurich. With buyer, okay, okay, great. So you you like also to buy a broad when you when you when you go around or yes, uh, especially something like this. Okay. In Middle East, I bought uh, the Zenith, the Sport Chrono. Okay. Great watch. Yes, it is indeed. Great watch, uh, totally underrated. The complete company is underrated, totally. I I I, I, I mean really that, do that agree what on they it. have and know is wow. Uh, but I guess they're making some old moves also. Like they, they've made pretty good re editions right now. They're Look at well. the complete watch market is focused on five models. Okay. I would have said three, but <laughs> Yeah, or three. But that's true. <laughs> yes, yes, and yes it is. Yes it is. It shouldn't be like that. I know. I know. It really shouldn't be like that. You have uh, Jaeger is great. Lange Zöne, more than great. Uh Zenith, we mentioned it before. Top. Great. You have Omega here, top. I mean, James Bond wouldn't wear Omega if Omega is uh, not good, but okay. He also drives a Range Rover or Defender or whatever. Not the best car, but okay. <laughs> yeah, super true. You're into cars as well. A little bit. I have a 911. Okay. The latest model, 4S. Happy Stylish. with that. Happy with that. Stylish. Yeah. It's a good car. Good yes. sports car. Yes. Maybe one of the best sports cars. Or it's I like mean a good you speedmaster. No, yeah, look, you like in Italian, you have Ferrari, Lamborghini. We in Germany, you have Porsche. But I'm a huge fan of Porsche as well. Yeah, by the way, we have also something like Mercedes Benz, BMW. Yeah. Volkswagen, I mean, we have as well. I mean, Italian police is driving Volkswagen. I saw it on the highway. Some, yes, some yeah. are. And so we need to speak about that next time, maybe. Yeah, but with them. With them, I yes, guess with them. Would with be them, better. With would them. be much better. And uh, I had a question because I'm Tell really, me. really curious. How do you feel about independent watchmaking? Do they get you or or, no, or they not? No. But why? 
I respect that. Okay. That's for sure. Mm, they didn't get me. Uh, with me, it's I have a relationship with those guys or not those guys with Patek Philippe in London. Okay. Sure. I was on the lucky side that the Nautilus and Aquanaut and whatever they produce, okay, started a little bit to become, let's say, hot. When I started to buy Patek Philippe, it was not like that. I told you, yeah. Aquanaut was displayed in the window. So uh, maybe I will buy something from an independent watchmaker because I buy it not for speculation. I buy it because I like it. So, yeah. And if you had to choose one, I like, don't know. Okay, okay, fair. Super I don't, fair. I don't know. They exist in the universe. I know. Okay. And I wish them really many luck. Okay. But it's also hard to to compare <laughs> those guys with, let's say, a Rolex or AP Patek. We don't need to mention because Patek is doing something like this here. But yeah. And what's most important for you in a watch? Like design, mm, the brand behind, like the values? The brand behind, Okay. the people who are selling you the watch. Because it's not only buying a watch, it's no. buying a complete story. It is, and that's and important. It's the relationship after that. It's the history. I know you like Cartier a lot. I do, I love them. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's the history. You, you buy a part of that. It's not only you go buy, and that's, that's what we are, this is what we are missing on this, let's say, watch trading or whatever. Speculation, yeah. You have Chrono24 or Chrono.com. Uh, he click, clack, zuck, UPS delivers the package, that's it. I mean, I know and he I pays know. maybe four times more the price, but if he is happy, we should be also happy. Yeah, yeah, in the end, that's what makes you happy. As we always say, but but uh, you don't know why he is happy, or or why he is not happy. It's it's like uh, it's being where everyone wants to be. Yes, it's having something what everyone has. He thinks that's that's okay, but it's good. He pays thirty thousand for a steel Daytona. I mean, he can buy probably oh. five Omega Speedmaster. Yeah, but maybe he doesn't even know they exist. Well, maybe just because they're not above the list price, no. he doesn't like it as no, much. Yeah, or it's too complicated. You have to know it was to the it, it, it traveled to the moon. You have to know what is Snoopy. You it's yes. too much behind. Rolex Daytona is easy. I know. You I know. know. It's right. Or GMT, Pepsi, Cola. Yeah, uh, you get it. It's, yeah. it's super direct. Yeah, yeah, it's super easy. <laughs> Boom, bam. McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's funny how it's all n names now, you know, superheroes yeah. and yeah, the uh, names are cool, yeah, and all that. But uh, Pepsi, Coca Cola, uh, what we have, Batman, Batman, yeah, Batman. yeah, yeah, Batman, Pepsi, and it's easy yeah. for the guys. It's so easy many, to remember. So many. Yes, it is. It's it's way it's way easier than reference numbers. Imagine five seven forty G. Oof. So and for the, for the Speedmasters. The longest yeah, reference the, yeah, ever, Yeah, okay, this man. is insane. That's, but that's... Imagine 5740G. Then you have to know G is for G, gold. G, what is, yes. Yeah. That's for sure, for sure, for A4 sure. A4 steel from front. It is, yeah, it can be complicated. And uh, I see both. Like, uh, it's, it's not that normal to find a collection with very sports model, but also yes. uh, a couple gold pieces. Oh, yeah, you look here. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. A couple, no, no worries. Five seven one two R. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. Really beautiful. Thin. Moon face shows Wearable. you when you can sleep, when you can't sleep. Okay. But you never Why sleep. Why you do this? <laughs> yes, but you never sleep. Uh, has a power reserve to okay. show you how far you can go. Yes. Or how far you can't go, or whatever. It's a really nice watch. It is. On an alligator strap. Yeah, you have sports watches. You have the non-sports watches. You have the complicated watches I'm a watch collector you love them all yes you have no type or or have you like is there mm. something that you like the most in terms of watchmaking so what is the last what is the only watch you would uh, take on an island this, uh, is this uh, question uh, huh? no no it's like you prefer you but if you have an answer to that Apple I'm so watch. curious the Apple watch yeah and where do you charge it 
No, no, okay. We, we, we <laughs> look, probably this island has a, 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 a yeah. plug. Okay, okay, okay. Bold move, man. Bold move. I know, I know. Actually, yeah. You, you actually don't need a watch today. Even though <sighs> in some situation yeah. it's, it's super useful. It's an accessory. It's, it's something, but it's something what is connected with you. You buy it. Look, this watch exists a long time. Okay, yes. it's not from yesterday, but I bought it two weeks ago or one week okay. ago. So why? Because I felt okay. Now it's time to have a, a rose gold Nautilus. Other people would say, okay, I buy it because someone offered it to me, or I don't know. I buy it because of uh, profit or speculation. No, 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 no. That's for sure. So is the newest. Mm, the latest is yes. mm, okay. <laughs> and what's the next one? Ha, I saw. To be honest, they made the uh, the green platina uh -huh. roll timer. Interesting piece. Uh -huh. Yes, indeed. Interesting piece because it's a flyback chrono with the roll timer. I respect the work. With with this world world timer calibers is uh, is really wow. I mean, it shows you twenty four time zones at one view. Glance, yes. Yeah, not even your iPhone or my iPhone can do that. Nope. True. So it's wow. Uh, five nine zero five also green steel. A good calendar inside. Yeah, green is the new color. It is. So let's see. Yeah, it left me a bit. Sour, you know, seeing yeah. everything green, even too much at green. Attack. Oh, yeah, three novelties, all green. <coughs> Why? I mean, too so much green. So must go on. I know, but maybe being distinguished once every maybe also in Geneva, show must go on. Yes, that's for sure. And we'll see what's going on next. Next to this, it will be green. Yeah. No, it's, I think. Look, like every company. That's for sure. No, at the end, are numbers behind that. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And I mean, they, they say, okay, happy. Look, Andrea and Zoran are funny guys talking about watches, understand, but it's like in every company. Yes, it is what it is. That's for sure. I mean, you saw now Loro Piana is like Tokyo Drift. They have this <laughs> uh -huh. collection. Oh, yeah. Yeah, as you said, show must go on. Show must go on. That's it. Soran, thank you so much for being with us. It was, was a great a pleasure. pleasure. Thanks for my first interview. Wow, really first ever? First. Thank you so much. I'm humbled. So humbled. Thank you guys for being with us. I hope you enjoyed the watches and a pretty remarkable story, man. Thank you. Andrea, thank you very much. Thanks to you. See you next time. Bye, guys.